Hey, welcome back students. In this video lesson, we're going to go ahead and look at another number. Let's say that we're going to take a number such as 7.34 times 10 to the second power, and we want to go ahead and convert that into a decimal form. And so let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to look at the exponent, so let's write that number one more time down here. 7.34 times 10 to the second. Notice the key parts here, and we're going to look at this number up here. The number up top tells us the number of spaces between the decimal and the last number. So in other words, the difference between where the decimal is now and where we really want it to be. Keep in mind, if it is positive, that means that you're going to move to the right. However, if it is negative, you're going to move to the left. And this is important for us to remember. So let's look at this number. If we have the 7, 3, 4, put the decimal there, we're going to move this decimal to the, since it's positive, we're going to move it to the right. So we're going to move it one space, two space, and we're going to go ahead and put the decimal there at the very end. Now that we've done that, we want to make sure, and I'm going to put the arrow here because that's the direction. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and erase the decimal point from, from where it was. We have the new decimal point, and this here is the actual answer for how we convert this. This is decimal form, and so uh, when you're having these kinds of problems show up, you want to go ahead and do that for you there. And um, pay attention to the exponents as you're doing that. Let's look at another problem. All right, so what if we have a number that asks us, or a problem that asks us to go ahead and convert using a negative exponent? And so let's look at some of those. Let's say that we had the following number. Let's say that we had uh, 2.74 times 10 to the negative 4. And so we want to go ahead and convert this number. So let's bring this down to the bottom and uh, rewrite this number. And so that number is 2.74 times 10 to the negative 4. If you look at this number here specifically, the exponent tells you that it's negative. And because it is negative, that means that we're going to have to move to the left in the final number. And so let's go ahead and begin that process. We first write the number 2.74, which is the base. So we're looking specifically at this part here. We're going to write the base, and then we're going to go from the decimal that currently exists right after the 2, and we're going to move it to the left four spaces according to the exponent. So what we'll do is the following. We'll go here, and we'll do 1, 2, three, four, and then we're going to go write the new decimal there. So that's the place of the new decimal. We'll also put in zeros every time we see a little space for it, and we will then go in and remove the, the spaces, and this is our final answer. So the final answer when we convert 2.74 times 10 to the negative 4 is going to be 0.000274. Notice in this particular problem, the number of significant figures in the final answer here is 3, and the number of significant figures in the uh, scientific notation number is also 3. So the, the amount of significant figures is going to match here. All right, Let's go ahead and do one more problem, and then we'll call it good for this series, and hopefully that should have helped you out. All right, So let's go ahead and do this next problem. All right, So let's say that we are looking at 4... 0.215 times 10 to the negative 3. And so we'll begin by looking at that number closely. 4.215 times 10 to the negative 3. Notice the exponent here. It's a negative number. Therefore, we're going to have to move to the left. So put that there. Move left. And here's the base. So let's go ahead and begin with that one more time. 4.215. We're going to look at the decimal and move to the, to the left at three spaces. So there's one, two, three, and we're going to write the decimal. And then we're going to add a zero every time there's a space, which there is. And so if we write this number one more time, this final answer will be 0.004215. Here is your final answer when you convert 4.215 to the negative third to a decimal form. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, see me in class.